And um, I'm going up on my two-year mark as we speak right now. <clears throat> I train at the Thumpers Den Wrestling Academy in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And I am with the Bruce City Wrestling Company. Awesome. And um, for those who are just joining us, I'm happy to have Lena Oro. She is with me right now, all the way from the Midwest. Um, I first met her at Girl Fight Wrestling at Jeffersonville, Indiana. And you made your Girl Fight debut on that night. Um, and a lot of wrestlers were there, like Karen Q from Wing of Honor, Amazing Maria, Savannah Evans, Holly Dead, all the way from the West Coast, among others. I enjoyed the show, and it was great to chat with you in person. And I am um, definitely am a fan of yours, uh, for sure. Um, and I definitely appreciate you taking the time to do this interview before you get to your training and all. So, um, who are some of your favorite wrestlers growing up as a fan? Um, so, I have female and male. My favorite, like, all time, Trish Stratus. Like, I was so obsessed with her when I was younger. And then, um, Shawn Michaels and the, and the Undertaker. They're, like, my top. Like, they're not, for me, they're not better than another. I, they're just equal, you know? I gotcha. That's awesome. So, um, as far as your wrestling career, you know, for those who haven't gotten a chance to see you perform in person, how would you best describe your wrestling style? Hmm. Um, I would say it's very, like, my wrestling style is technical, like, And I work with my legs a lot. Like, I do kicks, and I work with my knees a lot. And I work the neck a lot, too. But I would say, like, my wrestling style really mimics my trainer. You know? Like, it's kind of hard to explain because, like, the way he does stuff, he was trained by Harley Race. So I would say my style is, like, old school, but mixed with, like, new school. Okay, I like that for sure. Um, you know, I like at Harley Race. He's big time, one of the all time greats. Um, mm-hmm. he's, Amazing. He's a, a great talent for sure. Um, so, as far as let's see, what do you consider like the biggest highlight of your wrestling career thus far? It could be a match that you've had, maybe a championship you've won, a storyline angle that stood out to you, what do you consider the biggest highlight of your career thus far? Um, that's a really hard one. I would probably say right now my um, feud with Stacey Shadows because the feud that I am in with her, it's brought me and her to new levels and it's it's been good and it's been bad, but at the same time it like brought like a new person out of me because um, when I faced her back in May, I had suffered an injury and I got rushed to the hospital. But ever since then, it's like, I'm in a reinvention of myself and it's been hard, you know, but like, I love this one because it's challenged me more than anything I've ever done, you know, and I enjoy it because it's so good and it's so real and authentic and like you've never seen it like done before like yeah like there's been other like great storylines but I think mine right now with Stacy, it's amazing and I love it that's very cool and you know as far as you know that that rival that one person that brings your A game that makes you bring your mm-hmm. A game for that matter definitely want to um take it up a notch especially when fans like what they see like what they hear and you bring that intensity you bring the best out of each other and i think that's what you know the come yeah and like go ahead oh no you go ahead oh 
And like the best thing apart it, like the best thing about it is that like we're so familiar with each other. So if she sees that I'm coming with an FIF, she'll um, dodge it and then put me in something else. You know, like it's it's amazing because we know each other so well that okay, I'm gonna hit this move, but she already knows that I'm gonna hit that move. So in the middle of a match, I have to think, okay, what am I going to hit her with her next? Because if I hit this, she's going to counter it and hit me with something else, you know? Like, and I love that it's, like, we know each other so well and we know each other's styles that, like, you have to step up your game each and every single time you get into the ring with each other. And being so new into the business, I really haven't had somebody like that, but I do have it when I'm with her, you know? Like, I'll wrestle other girls and it's, there's just everything around it is different. That's very, very true. And, you know, shout Stacy Shadows. I've been keeping an eye on her um, for sure. She's very talented in her own right for sure. So you, you mentioned early you're part of Brew City Wrestling. That's in the Midwest yes. area. Talk about the, the company in particular and what's that like being part of Brew City Wrestling? Brew City Wrestling is the best in the Midwest, hands down. I have been to multiple companies outside of Brew City Wrestling, and I don't know if this is biased, but I personally think that Brew City is the best. It's just the locker room is great. The crowd is great. <clears throat> just everything about it is great. Like You know when you walk into like a place and you automatically feel at home? That's how I feel every single time I go there. Like besides going into my own house, you know, like I, there's just there's this special energy, you know, when you go in there and it's it's an undescribable feeling in going into Bruce City Wrestling. Like Frankie DeFalco, he's amazing. Um, Bruce City Bruiser, or no, oh, <laughs> sorry, um, Beer City Bruiser. I'm going to get yelled at for saying Beer City Bruiser, but um, it's Beer City Bruiser. He, it, him and Frankie DeFalco, they've taught me everything um, I know. So it's just like, I feel so comfortable going in there. And I just, I love it. The place is amazing. And they give you opportunities when you deserve it. You know, you, you just don't get handed everything. And when you work hard, and you put the work in and the time in, they're obviously going to reward you with it, which is amazing. Just so you know, I got your back. I'm I'm going to edit that part off so that you, you won't have to get an air <laughs> from for you. <laughs> Thank you. That's, that's the beauty of, of a pre-recorded interview. When it's not live, you can just easily just, poof, it'll be gone in an instant. Right. So, so um... So I gotta ask you about um, I don't know. Have you had a chance to check out the May Young Classic by any chance? And and if so, Ooh, what's yes. your take on it? I am on I'm on episode three. I think I think it is absolutely phenomenal. Them girls in the classic they are putting their heart and soul into every single match, and you can see it when you look at it. Like every single second of the matches you're engaged you want to know who's gonna win you like this person and you don't like that person and it's like and WWE they're known for not giving their women chances and just totally making them the popcorn matches of the show and now that they have the Mae Young Classic it's it's great you know like there's no other way to put it because Finally, we as girls, we get to like showcase our talents without having to be compared to the men because there is no men on the card, you know? It's definitely been anticipated for quite some time. I've watched our eight episodes thus far, and I, I've, I've, I love it. I admire it, and it's pretty cool to, to learn about these women, 32 women, some I'm already familiar with. Some I've actually interviewed on this particular show. I've interviewed Abby Leif. I've interviewed Sarah Logan, Nicole Savoy, and Marty Bell. And I'm proud of all four of those women just to be in that tournament and, and what they've been able to do. And I'm not going to give 
too much away since you're on episode three, but it gets even better as you watch throughout the all the episodes. What I do know is that at the uh, finals is next Tuesday, right after SmackDown. So if we oh it oh yeah, that's right. It is. See, I wish I could just um like sit down and watch like bench watch them all, but I'm just yeah. so busy, you know, with my training and working and wrestling and stuff like that. It's just like, oh, I could never get a break. But you know, I asked for this life, so I can't complain about it. But um yeah, like I think it's, I think it's phenomenal what they're showcasing, and you gotta really give it to Triple H for all of the how do you like what do you like the backbone that he's give every given everybody because with NXT NXT has really put female wrestling on the map and if it wasn't for Triple H there would be no NXT you know so it's like he he made it like Triple H is one of my favorites but it, still like he has given us the opportunity to showcase a view on a bigger stage in a stage that is broadcasted worldwide. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I give kudos to Triple H as well. He's put a lot of heart and soul into everything um, from the Cruiserweight Classic to the UK Championship Tournament and now the Mae Young Classic. And as much as a lot of us wants to give him so much credit and he deserves it, he gives all the kudos to the competitors that's getting this opportunity and to showcase the oh. skill set. So he, he 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 yeah definitely. So he he appreciates the he appreciates the um, the love, but he he wants it all on on the competitors. That's that's yeah, like the competitors, awesome. they they're fantastic. Like they bring new things to the table every single time they come out and. Yeah, we give uh, the credit to Triple H, but all in all, like you said, it is the competitors and stuff like that because they put their hearts into their in their souls into the matches. You know, like if it wasn't for them, there would be no NXT, or if it wasn't for them, there would be no um, Cruiserweight Classic or the UK Classic. Pretty much. Um... Now, for you, Lena, what are some upcoming shows that people need to check out that you have uh, coming up? Um, the upcoming shows that I do have, I have one next Friday, September 15th, in Wasallis, Wisconsin, at the Knights of Columbus. You will see me probably perform. I don't know the card yet. Hopefully I get to. Um, and then... What are other big shows? I know there is another big show, I want to say October 20th, um, at the Knights of Columbus as well. And there, oh, there is another show, um, September 17th in North Prairie, Wisconsin, which is a free show for anybody in the Midwest area. You can come out, check it out. It's free. It's at a fair. Just bring your lawn chair and you get to watch the wrestling for free, which is like rare, you know, besides if you watch it on TV. Um, and then I am in a triple threat with Vanessa Azuri and Sierra in Chippewa Falls this weekend, which is going to be fun. Yeah, Vanessa and Sierra, both ladies that was part of Girl Fight at uh, Jeffersonville, Indiana a couple of weeks ago. And speaking of Girl Fight, you made your debut, as already mentioned. Um, you had a good time there, obviously. Do you have any plans of going back to uh, more Girl Fights events in the future? Um, I would love to if I was invited, yes. Um. I wouldn't turn down that opportunity because I did get to wrestle Haley Shadows, which she is amazing. She was just on SmackDown Live. Congratulations to her. I'm so proud of her. Um, but yeah, I would definitely not turn down going back to Girl Fight. It was on my bucket list before I went, and then when I got contacted to go, I was in like shock that I got invited because Girl Fight, like you said, like four or five of the girls that you interviewed 
most of them were on girl site and now they're in the main young class, you know? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And that had to be interesting for you because, you know, you faced Haley like on, on the Tuesday <laughs> prior and now you watching SmackDown like, wait a minute. I just had right? to like, wait her. a minute. I just wrestled you. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, that was like, man, that had to be like, man, what a world we live in. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, shout out to Haley. Um, uh, got love for her. She's cool as hell for sure. Um, before I let you go, Lena, why don't you go ahead and promote your social media links, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, any other links people need to know. Um, so all of my social media is Lena De Oro. Um, on Facebook, it's Lena De Oro. Twitter, it's Lena De Oro. Um, if you just type it into the search bar, it should pop up there. I don't remember which ones have the underscore, but honestly, if you just type it into the Google search, or not the Google search bar, just the search bar on any social media I'm talking about, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, so you can watch my matches, it's all Lena Dioro. It was great chatting with you, Lena. Thank you so much for your time. And I know you're getting ready for, for training and everything. So thank you for taking the time. Uh, continue success. And, uh, and I hope to see you again at a future show. Hopefully at a future girl fight event. Because I live here in Kentucky. And, you know, that's a bit of a lengthy drive. And I, I can understand. <laughs> you got to drive a long yeah. way just to get to Louisville. So... Uh, not Louisville, but Jeffersonville. Um, but thank you again for your time. Continue success. Thank you so much for having me. I enjoyed this so much. And uh, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. This will conclude the interview. You can check out Triple Threat Western Radio Thursdays from 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at TMVCafe.com in the TuneIn app. Search TMV Cafe. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Thank you.